The Red Sea contains some of the hottest and saltiest seawater in the world. Its name comes from the way its watercolor changes. Usually, the Red Sea looks like a very bright blue-green color. But sometimes, a lot of a type of algae called Trichodesmium erythrium grows in the sea. When these algae die, they turn the water into a reddish-brown color, giving the sea its distinctive red appearance. So, the name Red Sea is not because the water is always red, but because it can change color due to these special algae. The Red Sea acts as a natural border between countries. On one side, you have Egypt, Sudan, and Eritrea, and on the other side, you find Saudi Arabia and Yemen. In terms of size, the Red Sea is about 190 miles wide at its broadest point. The entire area it covers is approximately 450,000 square kilometers. From a geological perspective, the Red Sea is located in a large crack or fault depression in the Earth's crust that divides two major pieces of land, Arabia and North Africa. Towards the north of the Red Sea, it divides into two parts, the Gulf of Suez to the northwest and the Gulf of Aqaba to the northeast. The Gulf of Suez is relatively shallow, about 180 to 210 feet deep, and is bordered by a wide coastal plain. In contrast, the Gulf of Aqaba has a narrow plain and reaches a much greater depth of 5,500 feet. As you move south from this point, the Red Sea takes a winding path, creating curves and bends to the Bab el Mandeb Strait. This strait connects the Red Sea with the Gulf of Aden, which in turn connects to the Arabian Sea. Throughout history, the Red Sea has been a crucial link in a global network of water routes connecting the Mediterranean, Indian Ocean, its strategic location and important narrow points, known as choke points, have drawn the interest of conquerors like Alexander the Great and Napoleon. Furthermore, with the opening of the Suez Canal, the Red Sea has gained even more strategic importance. This highlights the significant role the Red Sea plays in geopolitical affairs. The Red Sea is crucial because it acts like a natural line between the eastern coast of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula on the west. It's a super important path for moving goods, especially oil, from the south Bab el Mandeb to the north Suez Canal. Since the world still heavily relies on oil, this route is vital for transporting it from the Gulf region. About 12% of all global trade and 30% of container traffic worldwide go through the Suez Canal every year, carrying goods worth over $1 trillion. This clearly shows how the Red Sea plays a big role in the world economy by helping things move around the globe. The Red Sea is a vital link between the world's two most important waterways, the Suez Canal and the Bab el Mandeb Strait. To the north, it is connected to the Suez Canal, an artificial waterway that joins the Red Sea with the Mediterranean Sea. Since its opening in 1869, the Suez Canal has become one of the most significant routes for global trade. It significantly reduces travel distance between Europe and South Asia, eliminating the need for ships to take the long journey around the southern tip of Africa. Currently, there is no suitable alternatives to the Suez Canal. However, there is a proposal to construct the Ben Gurion Canal through Israel. Even if an alternative canal becomes a reality, the Red Sea will remain crucial because ships coming from such a canal would still have to travel through the Red Sea. To the south, it connects to the Strait of Bab el Mandeb, a narrow passage in the Red Sea that separates the Gulf of Aden from the Red Sea. This strait is crucial for controlling the majority of shipping between the Indian Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea through the Suez Canal. Due to its strategic location, Djibouti hosts several foreign military bases near the Bab el Mandeb Strait. These bases help in monitoring and ensuring smooth navigation for ships in the area, as any disruption in this region would have severe consequences for the global economy. The Red Sea is a rich and diverse ecosystem, home to more than 1,200 species of fish, and about 10% of these fish could only be found in this region. Beyond its ecological importance, the Red Sea has become economically valuable due to substantial oil reserves and valuable metal resources. 